Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. Have you heard of Ginger? They're Russian? No, I know a South African ginger who made it huge in South Africa and, and actually went to L.A. for, I think, like 10 or 15 years, but they didn't make it. And okay. that's an, also an amazing band, but I have not heard of Russian ginger, no. Let's give ginger a go. You can let me know what you think. I can't wait. Okay. This is my next group of episodes on my Road Dogs and Rock Gods segment uh, that I do on my podcast. This is Delana Smith. Delana has been a friend of mine for many, many years. If we do not know who Delana is, for shame on you, <laughs> but she is originally from South Africa. Uh, she's a singer, songwriter, and performer. You may recognize her. She was on the CBS reality television show Rockstar Supernova, and she appeared on The Voice of Holland. She was also the lead singer of Tracy Guns's version of L.A. Guns. I thought I had met her on Rockstar Supernova. I went down to the show in 2006. It was to meet with Jason Newstead. Jason is an artist, and I was an art dealer, starting up to be an art dealer in 2006. I was just starting. I was just getting off the road with the Cranberries, and I was starting that up. And Jason, uh, I went down to the set to see his art and maybe give him a hand in uh, distributing the word. A little early on in my career, I couldn't help him very much, but he was a heck of a nice guy. And I thought I met Delana there. Anyway, after doing this, all these interviews with her here, these reaction videos, she's like, no, you're wrong. We actually met because uh, Cherry Lane Publishing put us together, and we wrote a track together for a film. And uh, it was a horror film that I was casting at the time, actually. And it got cut from this, the film. So she was saying, and this is a question to you guys, we should, uh, we should play the demo for everybody, her and I, and we can see if you guys think we should finish this song together that her and I were putting together, I'm going to say in like 2008, 9, 10, something like that. So uh, maybe we'll do that. Let me know in the comments if you think we should or not. But either way, if we do, it'll be fine. I don't know. I also want to throw a special thanks out to the people at CircleClothing.com. They gave me this wonderful sweater to wear. It's made of baby alpaca. What I learned is that baby alpaca has even softer material than regular uh, alpaca. And what's fantastic, or regular, adult alpaca. But what's fantastic about this is, God, is it comfortable. All the colors are completely natural. It is one piece. It's not all sewn together in a bunch of pieces. Everything is like totally healthy and good for the earth. It's expensive, the material and whatnot, because they're doing it that way. Everything's made in the USA, but the, it's just such a fine piece of clothing. And I, I'm so happy they gave it to me. So I'm going to be very careful with this. And uh, I, I'm just really proud to wear it. it. It's just such an awesome thing to have. So thank you ever so much, people at Circle Clothing, for thinking of me and letting me wear one of your fantastic pieces of clothing. Uh, I highly suggest you guys go to Delana's channel and you check out all the stuff she's up to. She's a heck of a singer, for real, if you don't know her. But let's see what she has to say on some of these reaction videos. Let's jump into this one and let's see what Delana thinks. Let's do it. Okay, this is Ginger. And this was a suggestion by one of my subscribers, actually, who's a big Ginger fan. Oh, wait, this guy always, always says, play Ginger, play Ginger. And I've been enjoying Ginger. <laughs> the track's called Vortex. And uh, this is the mm. official video. So let's give it a go and we can see what you think. Okay. Alrighty.
think of that one um fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh wow it really was a vortex that's for sure i mean it started in this little office area and i was like I, first i heard the band i was like yeah this is cool and then she started singing and i was like ah it's weird i in my mind i expected a male voice Okay. And then she was singing, and I was like, oh, it's okay, but I really would have liked more. And then she fucking <laughs> broke out with the growl, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then all the, the way the video changed, the way the built, I love the bass player, outstanding bass player. I mean, the whole band is great, but I somehow I, I really love that bass player. But whew, outstanding, fucking excellent. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that was. That was super powerful. Let's jump into some Damn. more growling then. This will this one will be surprise you. And your daughter may know it because okay. she's got a finger on the pulse in Japan is the word on the street you're telling me. So Hanabie? Okay. Have we heard of Hanabie? No. Okay, let's Doesn't jump to Hanabie. You can Hanabie. let me know. From Hanabie. where did you say? Hanabie. From where? Japan. Oh, also from Japan. Okay. <laughs> Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>